Now we got all these tensioners and pulleys off, so now we can get the timing belt off. Um, you can see at this point, you need to get a little slack and you can just kind of walk it out. Get off there, get it off there, and then kind of walk it out of the crank. And now the time belt's out of the way. Okay, so now that that's all apart, the next thing we need to get to is the water pump and the thermostat. We'll do the water pump next. To get to the water pump, there's a couple bolts that are in the way of accessing the water pump fully to get full access on removing it. So what you need to do is one of the items is the oil dipstick, which is held in by this 12 millimeter nut right here. And once that's undone, you usually can move it forward and you can rotate it. You just kind of twist it and walk it out. So that's your oil dipstick. You want to clean all this up and you can see there's a, a, a O-ring on here. Usually before I reassemble, I just put a real thin layer of uh, silicone on it, or you can buy a new O-ring. So now that that's off, we need to get access. There's this bolt right up in here that's behind the power steering pump. And you gotta unbolt the power steering pump partially. It's not a big deal, no fluid leaks out. It's, it's not nothing major. Um, the power steering pump, the bolts you need to get to are, there's one right here, six millimeter Allen. And there's another one right here on the front. So you got one down here and you got one right here. There's another one though that is hidden back here. Move that diverter valve out of the way. It's right down here. You got to come down from the top up from the boot and hook and get it out. I'm going to put a, a ratchet on it and get it out of there and then um, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, this is that third bolt for the power steering pump. Uh, you can see we undid the, the one right here, and we undid the one right here. So the third one is sitting right there, and I just come in with a wobbly, a six millimeter socket, Allen socket, and an extension, and I break it free. One key, make sure that you are fully seated into that Allen. You do not want to strip it. So I'm going to unbolt that Allen and then I'll have room to get in and get the water pump out of there. One more note. This is a good time if you have a stock F hose. If you have a 2000 or an early 01, you'll have a rubber hose here. It's F shaped. It's a good time to change it. It's pretty easy to get to at that point. They tend to rip. And that's just a pointer for you guys. Now that the power steering pump's loosened by those two front bolts and the one in back, you can see the power steering pump, pump moves up. And what that does, that gives you access to a bolt sitting right up in there. So that's a 10 millimeter bolt. You have that bolt. And then you have, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bolts, and one more nut. And you got to remember you took one nut off earlier for the dipstick. So I'm going to loosen all these bolts up, and once they're off, you'll be able to just pop the water pump off. The water pump doesn't come off earlier. Some easy, I mean. Sometimes you can get in there with like a pry bar and kind of just give it a little pop and it'll pop off. At this point, you want to have a drain pan. It's going to make a mess. So when you come back, I'm going to undo all the bolts for the water pump, pop it off. Okay, I just undid all the bolts and I pulled on it and it popped free. A lot of fluid everywhere. So once again, like I said, make sure you have a good uh, spill pan. And when you're getting the water pump out, just lift the power steering pump a little bit. And now we'll see why everybody wants to change the water pump before the normal stock interval. I think the owner's manual says 110,000. The reason everybody wants to change them prior is this plastic impeller, um, for whatever reason, this plastic uh, impeller, the bearing design, these things would seize up. And when these bearings would seize up, it would take out your timing belt. And a lot of people wouldn't notice uh, the leaky or noisy water pump right away. So they'd drive it and then boom, bye bye timing belt and then when the timing belt would go all your valves would go so it's never really been the timing belt it's the water pump plastic impeller so make sure when you get your new water pump it has a metal impeller um, I think most of the plastic ones should not be uh, around anymore I haven't seen one since about 2005 um, but the OEMs were plastic and some of the early replacements were plastic so make sure you get a, a steel impeller 
Another thing to worry about, um, you see the gasket, we got lucky, the gasket stuck to the water pump. Most F4s seem to do that, a lot of other cars don't. So at this point, make sure there's no gasket material on the gasket surface and get in there with a razor blade, scrape it up and clean it up before you put the water pump on. And since this is out of the way, we might as well just go straight into doing the um, thermostat.